Hello, this is Team Love with Comps Effects. Hope you're doing well today and you're getting some good trades. Today we saw a beautiful move in the euro dollar to the upside against what many had expected to be a continual slide down in the euro dollar due to the Spanish debt issues starting last week and were expected to continue into today. However, due to some fears of a credit squeeze in the European markets, there was a repatriation back into the euro today and due to that we had a short squeeze in the market. So what I want to do today is talk a little bit about the setup of a short squeeze, what are some of the reasons behind it, what is it specifically, and more importantly, how do we trade from a short squeeze. So let's take a look at the euro dollar in a four hour chart. Now one of the things we look for typically in the marketplace is certain levels to be broken and you can see here in the euro dollar that we were range bound up here and the market came down and broke a 200 simple moving average. This is all this is is a 200 simple moving average set to close and so you can see that the market broke that moved on down and then when the market moved up to test the 200 now this is something that professional traders look for and it's something that's actually programmed into a lot of algorithms. If you do not break the 200 moving average, then you look for the market to continue in that direction off the bounce of the 200. So last week there was a movement down in the euro dollar and that was fueled by the Spanish debt crisis and there were expectations today to see the euro continue to fall down into the 129s. Well as soon as it got into the 129s today, uh, down in this area, then we started seeing a move up in the euro dollar and a continual move back up in the euro dollar very strong today. This is what's known as a short squeeze. And I've often had people write me and ask what specifically is a short squeeze? It's a situation in which the price of an instrument, be it a stock or a currency pair, is where investors who sold short are returning back to the marketplace to cover their shorts and cut their losses. So all the shorts that were being built up last week and continued into today, they were covering their shorts, cutting their losses, and that caused a strong move back up today. Now with that being said, there was no real instigating fact. It was just the fact that we saw the euro coming up and continue to come up and algorithms triggered buy stops and those buy stops led to more of a movement to the upside. Traders say that there were leveraged names and institutions involved in the move up, but no specific thing instigated the move. And sometimes that's a fact with a short squeeze. Sometimes the market moves up just enough in a short sell situation to trigger buy stops, algorithmic buy stops held by institutions. And when a buy stop is triggered and the market pushes up, oftentimes it triggers another buy stop which causes the market to move up again, thus triggering another buy stop. And you get this move up in the marketplace. Now so far the euros come all the way back up to almost the 130, 150 mark. And so some are looking for a movement back down in this since we're still below that 200 simple moving average. So from this standpoint, I'm going to drop down to the one hour chart. I want to talk about how we can potentially trade from this short squeeze. Now again, if you were short here and then you had to rush in to cover, now the situation is, well, how do we play this? What I look to do is I look at the one, two, three down strategy. And what I mean by that is we have a high point, that's point number one, a low point, that's point number two, and then we have our third point, which is right around the 618. So when we get that 618 reversal, and it's still up in that area at the time of this video. So what we'll look to see is does it stay up around the 618 and falter? Does it move up to the 786 back up to 3165 area and falter there? That'd be a 786 failure. If it can't get up to that area and fails to stay above the 618, then we'll look for a 1, 2, 3 down pattern. This is something I often look for with a short squeeze scenario because big picture is we're still below that larger 200 SMA on the four hour chart and their expectations are for the market to move back down. So if the market comes down and stays below the 618 then I've got three targets in mind to trade short. I look for the 50 percent, the 38.2 and the 23.6. Just simply play those FIB levels 
as potential targets for the market to move to. Now eventually you'd like to see the market move all the way down to the low point which is down to right around that 2994 level. But with a short squeeze scenario what I look for is simply this. You look for a rebound back up to the 38.2 and if the market breaks the 38.2 level and continues pushing higher then it's possible time to cover your shorts and then if it breaks 50 percent then you look for it to go to the 618 level and that's kind of tough having it to come out of your shorts now sometimes you can average into a position if you still think the market long term is just showing a short move now something for us to consider is the ECB may be stepping back in and buying bonds to help the Spanish banks every time the ECB has stepped into the marketplace to buy bonds that has encouraged a move up in the euro dollar so don't be surprised we get a continual move up but right now what I'd be looking for is a possible one two three down pattern if this turns over and rolls down and then you'll look in your intraday chart so if we'll go down to the 15 minute chart for instance we'll look for that 618 to give way and we'll look for the market to set up you can see the strong move up 23.6 38.2 right through the 50 to 618 now this is showing a bullish pennant but if it gives way look for the market to come back down to 131 if 131 doesn't hold then look for a move down to 3080 area and then possibly back down to 3050 3045 area the market though based upon the TDI in the intraday is pretty high the uh, market baseline up around the 68 usually the market baseline gives when it's up this high and we see a move back down to the 50. Now just make note, if the sentiment in the marketplace turns and starts falling back over towards the 50 level here and price stays up here, then that is a sign of continuation and the market could try to push back up higher back towards that 200 SMA that we have on the 4 hour chart. But I would look for the possibility that if this rolls over we break that price action channel right in this area I'd say right around the 3115 look for the market to start making them its movement back down so when it comes to a short squeeze it's kinda of tough to analyze exactly where it's going to turn but oftentimes look for the market when the market breaks at 23.6 starts going to the 38.2 and continue to rise there's a likelihood that you're in a short squeeze scenario. After the short squeeze and you get a move back up to 618 or possibly that 786, start looking for a 1, 2, 3 down scenario due to the fact that the market still insists that the moving, the 200 moving average, if we're still below that, and like I said, there could be a chance it could possibly push up there with a bullish pennant showing on our intraday might be a retest of that but again if it can't seem to do that then look for a move back down into these areas if the market does not come back down and does not break below the 23.6 or the previous lows then look for a continuation back to the upside well, folks Dean Malone with Comps of X hope some of this information will help you the next time you see a short squeeze either look for the market to play back down using a one two three down strategy or the market doesn't break the previous lows with the 23.6 start coming out in positions for a continuation back to the upside. Y'all have a great day, get some good trades, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.